up to a very different scene this morning. Can't see anything. <laughs> right now we're going to Giorgio Keep's house that we won't go in but we'll look at it. It's very expensive <laughs> and I'm not paying $60 to go see her home but there's a lot of other Giorgio O'Keefe we'll landmarks. Go our head from a distance. We will. Hey, just wanted to pop in here to give a little bit of context to this trip to New Mexico. This was a trip that I had been planning for about six months. I booked it when I was working in the corporate world, really just craving to get outside my comfort zone, get into a different area of the US. I was specifically drawn to Abiquiu because it's where Georgia O'Keeffe lived and worked for a lot of her life and explored. If you don't know anything about Georgia O'Keeffe, she is one of the greatest American painters to exist. She specialized in watercolor and created these beautiful landscapes, but also these very close up paintings of flowers and specifically desert flowers. I'll talk about this more later on in the video, but her work is praised for mirroring female anatomy. And it's funny because she denies that there was any sort of connection. And it raises this question of, was Georgia inspired by that? Or is nature just sapphic and phallic and we can't help but pick up on that when we paint? We may never get an answer from Georgia on that one, but I wanted to see for myself. Just wanted to jump in to give a little bit of context, but I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. There's a lot of Georgia O'Keeffe landmarks we're going to, so. And then after that, we can go to, we'll drive by the big lake. The big lake. A big key, a big key. And then we can go to Ghost Ranch. Because it's snowy rocks. Perfect. As we make our way to Ghost Ranch, I reflect on the work that Georgia O'Keeffe created while she stayed there. She would disappear into the landscape and emerge with paintings of solid rock faces that were somehow full of movement. She is also known for her close-up paintings of desert flowers and is praised for mirroring human anatomy in her work. However, she denied any Freudian influence in her work. I guess I would just have to find out for myself whether innuendos or nature inspired her work. I start painting and keep in mind the movement that Georgia O'Keeffe incorporated in her work. 
I find it challenging to look at something as permanent as rock and imagine it possessing any fluidity. I focus on the lights and shadows in my study. Something isn't clicking though. I underestimate the ease that I thought I'd capture this landscape with. We made it pretty far into our paintings. I am just having an unlucky time and I think I need to call it quits today. Um, I'll take a good picture and we'll finish it up another time. Sometimes it's just best to walk away instead of continuing to struggle with the rupees. Taylor though, excelling. <laughs> but like if you blow your, you blow your eyes a little bit, it kind of looks the same. I love that. <laughs> My day of painting may have been a wash, but I have one more place we need to visit before we return to our Earthship. ship.